the f*** is that? So you don't, you don't know anything about these, do you? <laughs> Where's your Ford thing? <laughs> There's no Ford thing. Yeah, okay, just check it. I know that I could drag you around backwards with my Ford. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. Look at this beast. Look at it. Look yes. at all that stuff. Look at all the little bucklies. Ready to learn about it? Yeah. Okay. Do you know yeah. about it? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's get educated. I'll get out of the way. All right, cool. All right, so. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So you got all kinds of little storage compartments everywhere, so that's kind of where to start. Okay. Where as it is. You have all a James right. Bond little glove Ooh. box here. Okay. I call it James Bond anyway. There's your glove box down below with your owner's manual. Okay. You have got storage everywhere. You've got cup holders here, which you can have open or closed. You have more storage, like a change holder here. Very cool. You have storage up top, which includes a USB port. All right. You have storage down below. Oh. You also can move this so you have more storage. Shut up. Now, here's your phone holder. So okay. you can plug your phone in there either upright or sideways. Like that. Yep, and okay. you just slide it down in there and it'll stay put. And that charges it, right? It does. Well, I don't think that does. It just holds it. Okay. But you do have a three-prong plug down here. Oh, and then it goes, you just plug it under here. Yep, okay. and then you also have one back here and you have heated seats in the back as well oh, all right. so we like that lots and lots of storage and that's just right here you have storage in your floor underneath your mats as well which we'll go over too oh okay so just like the other places. longhorn yeah yeah all right yeah so basically it's going to be a lot like your your longhorn that you already have it's just upgraded technology and okay so cool. um I don't know if you're familiar with Uconnect. Yes. I'm having another one. Okay. Yeah, we've got a Jeep too. Grand oh, Cherokee. Awesome. Nice. What year's your Grand Cherokee? 14. Nice. 14. And I noticed that nice little red little. Yeah. Little, yeah. Red little Challenger. We, we split it up because yeah. I've got Mopar's and It's a beautiful thing. Ford. It's a beautiful thing. She's talking about that guy right there. Uh huh. Okay. I am. So, when you get to your radio, what's your favorite radio station? I don't really have one right now. Okay. Do you listen to satellite at all? Because uh, we have a usually, year free satellite. Usually country, like 93.7. Okay. So if you wanted to set a preset, you'd go okay. into tune and you'd do 93.7 go. And then you're just going to hold wherever you want to save it. Okay. And you're good to go. You've got 12 presets for AM, 12 presets for FM, awesome. 12 presets for Sirius XM. And you just well. hold your finger around the button. Yep. Okay. You just dial it to wherever you want to be and then hold up. Can you mix and match? Like... I no. To okay, so that, no, it, it'll be... it's set by your source of music. Okay. Then, if you have a different source that you want to use, if you want to use Bluetooth, okay. or if you want to use any of your auxiliaries down here, yep. or your CD player. Oh, we have a CD player. You have a CD player. Holy cow. I know, the right? laptops don't come with those anymore, I right? I know. So, the cool thing about that is you can do whatever you want to do, and it's all right here at your fingertips for the radio. Oh, cool. Um, and, of course, once we program your phone, it's going to read whatever music you have on your phone. You can just choose the Bluetooth oh, sweet. button. The other thing that this has is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Very have you played with that. that? Yes, very that familiar is with that. awesome. And yep. that's, that's part of this, too. Just USB here, and your phone screen will come right up on this. It screen. comes right up. Absolutely. So sweet. You to go there. Um, if you want to browse for anything, you can hit the browse button. It'll give you all the local stations as to where you are as far as presets. Okay. Um, when you go into satellite radio, when you go to browse, you can choose it by number, or if you hit the genre, you can pick what kind of music you're looking for, okay. and it'll list all your stations for you, so you know what you're choosing. Cool. Um, and you can look at all your presets. You can set favorites. Um, if you're a sports guy, you can also choose teams. And oh, and it'll give you, know you just that game. specific thing. Okay. Yeah. For the yeah. Lions or whatever. So lots of, lots of little things like that. Um, on satellite, you can also replay the current song. Does Chris want to come in? Is he out in the rain? Oh, he's reading an email. Dude, do you, do you want to you wanna come in? You're welcome to join us. Oh, I was just hanging out. All right. With all your wanna, friends, right? I didn't want to interfere. Okay. <laughs> right. so just, you're welcome to join us I'll if you like. I'll out in the rain, I suppose. Maybe you'll right. learn something. <laughs> yeah, my teacher thing or two there, boss. Yeah, I've just been learning from Ford for years. 
Exactly. So here's the other thing you can look at traffic and weather. Um, your traffic yeah, and weather in this that, particular right? one, you're going to choose Detroit as your closest one. Yeah, it's the closest one. one, right? Yeah. And whenever you're done with anything, you just hit the back button and it'll take you back to your main screen. Okay. The other thing that's on here is your audio. So you can set your speakers wherever you want okay. them to be. I do the um, speed adjust, yeah. I'm I free, love the so. speed adjust. Yeah, that's good. And then you also thing. you also actually have your equalizer in here. Oh yeah, so you can turn um, it on. The other thing is you can look into surround sound. You can look at the, it's pretty basic stuff. Yeah. Um, here you can also, without going into your navigation, you can just take a peek at the exact map of where you are. Oh. You're, like if you're in, say you're in the middle of Lowell and you're looking for something, it'll give you just a snapshot as opposed to going into the nav and trying to program it. It's just going to show you right where you are. And when you're done with it, you just hit nav again and it goes away. Okay. Okay? Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with this. this oh, I'm stuff. sure. This is old yeah. hat so to you me. Know the, you know the, re the controls on the back yeah. of the steering wheel? Yeah, for volume and changing the channel. And, yep. And, and your source mode music. select right here. Yep. yep. And then on the other side is up and down yep. your radio dial and then also your presets. Yep. And then you can go through your... Yep. Yep. So then you have old school right here, too. Yeah, so I didn't get the big screen. Should I have gotten the big screen? The big screen didn't seem like it added much value it's, to me. It's a personal choice. Okay. We have people that really like the 12 inch screen. We have people that are like, it's a little bit of overkill. Yeah, that's kind of what it, I was saying. Cause you have like redundant controls everywhere and it just seemed like- Kind of, of Yeah, kind all right. Bit. So um, of course, mute, hazards, traction control. You want to turn the screen off. You just hit that button. You have two options to turn it back on. You can either tap the screen or hit the screen off button again and it comes back. Does this do the funky thing my Hellcat does and every time you put it in reverse, the radio turns on a random channel? No. Okay. Right. Just that checking. Like that's Anybody, question. other Hellcat owners, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, you put it in reverse, the camera comes on and it turns the radio on wherever channel it feels like. 88.7. Oh, wow. Yeah. The random channel too. Is that multiple Hellcats or just yours? Oh, mine's done it forever. That's crazy. Yep. It's and and it's everything's totally off. You put it in reverse, uh, radio comes on. Weird. Yep. Huh. I'll investigate into that. So here of course you've got your heated seats, your cooled seats, and also your heated steering wheel. Cool, gotta have so, that, right? Right? So again, you know, up here is new school, down here is old school as far as controls. Um, down here you have your integrated trailer brake. Um, you have your alternate trailer height, you have your tow and haul button, which also enables your gears over here on the steering wheel. If you want to shift up and down while you're towing, you can, courtesy of those. Cool. You've got your exhaust brake. Um, right? right? This one this one features both front and back. You gotta do that, right? You gotta right? throw the jake brake effect in there. I love it. Come on, Sizzler. <laughs> 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 Everybody's got one, right? <laughs> so, um, you have park sensors, both front and back. If you want to turn them what off. What are those? Park sensors, those are when you get close to something and it's going to start blind to let you stuff know. In it. it does. Well, I it thought does. only Ford had that. Uh, no. Like I said, Ram's learning a thing or two. Wow. Yeah, a thing or two. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, you can turn your front or back park sense off right here labeled obviously front and back. Yep. You also have a bunch of box switches so you can, do, you can wire up whatever yeah. you we can, want We to. can do dancing ladies and fog. Absolutely. There sure. Whatever whatever <laughs> trips your trigger, you're good. Yeah, we can we can wire that all in. That'd um, be good. Up top here, you have your tailgate. Um, oh, we got an auto tailgate? Mm -hmm. yeah, shut up! Who bought mm -hmm. that option? Mm -hmm. I think that would be you. Okay. You also have assist and SOS. SOS is a true 911 call to the nearest dispatcher to the truck. Okay. Um, the assist button is a little bit different. It's going to connect you to the closest roadside assistance to you, but it's also going to give you RAM assistance and you connect assistance. So if you can't get a hold of one of us and you have a question, where's Ford's you can... button for that on their truck? <laughs> 911 assist. It's automatic, actually. You don't have to push anything. Oh, so it's even better. Yeah. Right. So, right? If, so if you're in an accident and airbags deploy, it just contacts the authorities for you. What if you have a question about the truck? Uh, you can hit this and... Well, you call Sisler on speed dial. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. You What's go. this big apparatus up in here? Um, that is your camera. There's a forward camera. That's got to be cameras. It is. This, all this shit is? 
Yeah. Big Brother's watching me with that thing. Absolutely. And there's the size sure of that. tons of cool wiring hidden behind that. I oh, yeah. would imagine. Of course, garage door will care, which I'm more, I know you're more than familiar with. Yeah. Where Never get those quick sets. Yeah, there's Because tons you, of you have a ton of speakers. Some of this is noise canceling. Okay. So that you get a quieter ride. Voice recognition, I'm assuming. Exactly. Well, white, white noise or something? Yep. Okay. Yep. It's going to reduce your road noise. Really? How come this doesn't feel like real wood, but everything else does? That's just kind of a question it's, I don't really expect an answer to. But okay. Yeah, that's a really feel good it? Like, that does not feel anything like... This does not feel anything like wood. I it's would say because of the oils that are in your hands yes, you're and not the grabbing the steering wheel. It's well, but there's no texture on the wheel. Right. This is smooth, and this is really mm -hmm. rough. Designers get your damn textures right. <laughs> Just so are you familiar with the information display that's on the screen? Um, yeah, I think so. With the buttons over here with this. Uh, yeah, they're the same same buttons as the yeah. the RAM was. Okay, so yeah. Exactly. So you've got trailer tow, you've got trapometers, you've got information as to what's going on inside the vehicle as far as your oil tank. Oil what, is, tank. what does that mean? That little guy. The trailer truck? You get the it? truck smashing into the back of a car right there. Um, that is your Park adaptive cruise, actually. Oh. And okay. since it's not on, it's not on. Okay, so it's telling me I will crash. You potentially could crash. I mean, that's what it's showing. Yeah. Truck exactly. is crashing into a car. Exactly. It's wow, saying it's not going to slow itself. It's, you, know, you, you have, have to, to slow it yourself. Cruise. Okay, I'm, yep. I'm feeling it. Yep. So then some of the other things over here, because we kind of jumped around a little oh, bit. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Ahead. Um, when you get to the controls, when you look at your control panel, you have a whole bunch of things. Your heated seats, your heated wheel, um, your vented seats, which, of course, we have buttons down here, too. But you also have that yeah, connection. Yeah, that's what I've ever done. A little bit. Well, not everybody Very. looks for things the same way. Yeah, so, so just chill out, poor guy. Yeah. So right. I'm as when cool as a cucumber back <laughs> <when, laughs> So, you can also now look at your backup camera without being in reverse, oh, what's that which is a new right safety there? feature. So, that's kind of cool. Huh? Yeah, a little water on it. Now, the other thing is, if you want to drop your tailgate with plenty of room, you want to make sure that you stop on the yellow side of this little L, because that's letting you know how much room you need to drop your tailgate. Or you're going to break your tailgate. Exactly. You're because gonna... here is your actual bumper. So, I can hit that button and it'll shut your face. Look Boom. at that. Oh! There goes your water drop, too. Serious question. Mm -hmm. Where, is there does a way it to close? enable the no. forward facing camera? Pardon? Is it there, doesn't close? It does not close. It does not power up. Just Only GM down. has that technology at the moment. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll go close my tailgate in my not GM car. And apparently, we didn't opt up for that option. Oh, it is a light close, though. It's very light, though. Yeah, it is very light. Very they light. did a nice nice job counterbalancing that. So, one of the other things in controls, which you'll find a couple different places, is settings. And again, everybody looks for things differently, so they make it a little bit redundant. A couple, couple paths to get there. Right? Yep. The Uconnect apps, this is kind of like the home page on your computer. Yep. It's got everything on it. But a couple of things that, that it does have, you have an online uh, vehicle user guide now. So literally, your owner's manual is in the computer. No one ever reads those. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's available. You can just look it up quick. Yeah. The other thing you have is Travel Link. Have you had this in the past? Yes. Yep. Okay. So do I get it free for a while, or you do no? for five years? Five years. Five Holy years. Shit, I overpaid. So you've got the fuel prices by brand, by distance. They'll have movie listings in case you want to go to a movie. Have you checked that out? This feature. It's kind of cool. I haven't been to a movie since okay, Avengers so, let me down, and then Star Wars let me down before that. Well, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's it's a good cool. feature. Well, the cool thing is once you pick the theater, it tells you the movies and what time Ooh, they awesome show. Home. But even better yet, when you hit the info, it tells you who's in it, how long it is, when it's rated. Shouldn't I be driving while this is going on? Uh, maybe. Okay. Perhaps. Just checking. Perhaps you can look up movies. You can set favorites. Passenger assistance. There you go. Yeah, no, that'd be good. It's kind of like having Jeeves, right? There yeah, yeah. There. You can look yeah, at the weather Jeeves forecast. Or... I can tell you if it's going to rain some more or not. Is there a radar or not? Because there's your current. Here's your three yeah, and six. Be. There's a five day. It says there's a radar or not, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. No, come on. It doesn't. And then it has changed. Well, on the, yeah, on the big 
big map. So yeah, we're gonna get wet today. Yeah, it was supposed to rain today, and it's mm -hmm. exactly what it's doing. Exactly. So that's fun cool. stuff to play How with. How come the date's backwards? Not that I'm gonna be picky, but that's a little backwards, isn't it? 2019-07-18. Just a default setting. Alright, Kevin. Yeah. So you can increase your contrast too if you really want to. Oh, to make it less yeah. translucent. Exactly. Or transparent. Cool. So next over is your TomTom -tom based nav system. Oh, Tom -tom. Which of course, when you plug in your Apple CarPlay, you're also going to have Google Maps. So really you have a couple of nav systems to choose from at this point. Yeah, we always or ways, use whatever you want to use. Anyway. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. pointless for OEMs to put nav in there. Yeah. But, okay. So now we're to the phone. Do you want to pair your phone real quick? Um yeah. Sure. Okay. So go ahead and back that you can save some favorite contacts if there are people that you don't want to use your voice recognition but you want to just tap the screen and get to where you need to be. Very you can cool. do that. Um, you can look at your favorites, the people that you call all the time. You can look at your recent calls, your contacts. You cannot operate the keypad while you're in motion, but if you're parked somewhere and have to call a number and don't want to dial it on your phone, you can. Um, it will read you your messages. I don't want to take the pain to reach reply. all the way down here to get my I know, phone. all the way down there, I'd right? rather just push it on here. And you can pair up to seven phones. You can put more than that but we found that it works best if you don't go more than seven perfect for burner phones there you go for there the misses go. all right phone pop-ups displayed in cluster what does that mean yeah we want that okay let's do that do and not disturb auto reply text yes auto reply custom default blah 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 customize auto reply i would try to do that later and paired phones that's where you can that's add me. as many devices as you want and we've cool. got device mirroring, so that's good to go. Um, last thing on this big screen is the settings. Then, to me, most of the default settings are what you want to play with. Um, sure. There we go. I usually go over. Oh, where do you want to go? I usually go to clock. You, you can set your theme for your background. No, not that one. I don't even know what that is, but. Yeah, it just changes. Is changes it going to change it to the hillbilly changes one? Changes the color of it a little bit. Hill. There you go. There's the hillbilly one. There you go. We got the hillbilly ram, so. Gotcha. Okay. Right. So when you go back into settings, the clock is going to go automatically with your GPS. So you really don't have to worry much about that. But if you like to change it, you can. Okay. Um, a couple of the other things that I typically go over are the lights. Um, headlight off delay and headlight illumination upon approach. You have the option to take it from zero seconds to 90 seconds. Yeah, like a minute. Yeah, it's nice if you're going to be walking in the dark if you want to use the whole 90 seconds or if you don't want it on at all, you can do that too. Uh, one of the other things that I like to go over is doors and locks. On the first press of your key fob when you hit unlock, right now it's set that everything on the truck unlocks, including your tailgate. Yep. If you like it that way, you can keep it that way. Yep. If you like it to be just the driver's door, No, nope, I want all too. of them. That ticks me off when it, it's only the driver's door. Okay. Then you get out and you go, damn it, it's locked again. And then you have to hit it again yes. too. Yes. Yeah. So, but the, the whole option is, in when I go through the settings, those are the key things that I hit, mainly okay. because there are so many options that we could sit here for a day. And a day I know, we could. There's and I, a lot of it. It's you funny because it's not use. even the truck, really. It's like just the electric stuff. Correct. So, all right, tire jack, wheel alignment mode, all. How, do, how does the self leveling stuff work for the trailer? I believe it's automatic. It's automatic. Well, it says alt trailer height, though. Like, I don't know why that's... Push it. Well, I don't think it'll do anything unless you have a trailer attached. It's saying on the screen. It's oh, lowering to support alt trailer height. Oh, there we go. Alternate height achieved. Perfect. All right. So then we just do tow haul and everything else is here. Yep. So, other than that, it's just a truck, right? So it's I'm assuming perfect. when you hook to something, Ryan, if the butt squats and you push that load level button, it's going it's to bring you back up. It's going to adjust accordingly. All right, cool. Is there any fancy lights and stuff in here? No, no, no that's not really. Ford. Would you stop? What a prick. Ambient yeah. lighting. Really? And then you've got... Ambient lighting. We don't have any ambient lighting in here? Mm -mm. No. Why? The Rams always had them under here. What the... <laughs> f Take it back. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm tired so, of this shit. This um, is what happens every time I buy something, isn't it? It's not me. I know. 
But you seem to be a common element in all these deals. <laughs> no, this is nice. I are happy. And then you're familiar with the in floor storage in the back. I are. And you know the fold flat storage yes. that you've got in the back too when you flip the back seats up and the yes. floor is. What does that do? Is that just my button it's, for the big the James Bond one? Yeah, I call it the James Bond. I think it's kind of fun. This oh, is actually dagger. cool back here. They put is this my sliding rear window? Yes. yes. All right. Not only do they have the USBs back here, but they have the new ports that everybody's going universal to. Oh, let's the, check that out. The big C channel ones. You got them. Oh, yeah. Is that the ones like they use for the uh, GoPros and stuff, right? The wide yeah, like ones. these. Mm -hmm. the newer, yeah, the wide blade ones. Yeah, yep. the newer mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Thanks for your... My pleasure. Your demonstration. My pleasure. Good job. <laughs>